Hey y'all, I'm back with another Project Life Process video and this is week one for 2018. I am starting with the photos on my desk and I'm also going to pull some stuff from my stash. I have the January Studio Calico kit along with, I probably have some uh, pieces from maybe even November and December in there. I'm not really 100% sure. But I am looking, but I can guarantee that the majority of these things are from Studio Calico kits or from like old kits or from their little sale that I got um, or that I ordered from in, I think it was November. Okay, so I have laid out my photos and I really um, am loving the way that's looking so far. I really want to use that pink card with the oval in the center um, as my title card. And so now I'm, I've opened a couple of other pieces, probably from like even a year ago. Like I said, I ordered from their flash sale or their um, Black Friday sale, and I got quite a bit of stuff um, for really cheap. And so I am using bits and pieces from different collections or different months. I'm really loving the color scheme so far. I love the soft tones, the pinks and the purples. Um, I don't know, I love that for January for some reason. And so I'm looking for some other bits and pieces that I can use, especially for my title card. And so I, instead of stamping this week, I am going to use um, the these black alphas that I either got in that sale or I ordered separately. And I think I realized pretty quickly that it was not centered. And if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know that I am notorious for like not measuring things out. And so when um, I saw that, I was not surprised at all. And honestly, I was thinking about just leaving it because I'm that lazy, but I decided to fix it because I think with that oval being in the center, I really needed to try to center it as best as possible. So I'm looking for something to add underneath um, that week one, but for now I'm going to leave it until I figure out what I'm going to do. I'm adding a puffy or a, is it a puffy sticker? Yeah, a puffy sticker to, um, the picture of my washi tape. If you follow me on Instagram, I add a lot of stuff to my stories and to my feed that has to do with like crafting. And one of my resolutions is to, um, add more crafty posts throughout the year. And so I try to do that daily and then I'll add a couple things to my stories as well. And so basically I um, took a picture of this washi tape and said that I'm no normally not one to buy like a bundle of washi tape, but like for once it wasn't tacky. And so I was really kind of in love with this washi. And my role is like if I use, if I'll use like 90% of the washi in the bundle, then I'll buy it. And especially because it was a pretty good deal. So on the bottom photo, um, thanks to Retro Hip Mama and oh, I think it was just her actually, um, she posted a picture of her lights on Instagram and I w like right away bought them and um, they've made a huge difference in my craft room when I'm filming at night and when I'm taking pictures. It's like a huge, huge, now I do still have to edit some things and I do still have to like maybe even lighten it up or change the temperature of the photo or the temperature of the video, but um, it has made a huge difference to film at night and not to have like glares all over my desk. Um, I am decided, I decided to, I was going to add a little label underneath week one, but I actually decided to stamp. I think I found these stamp sets that says like fresh new start or something like that. And so I stamped a couple of stamps underneath and then now I'm going to kind of make my own little embellishment. I was not, I didn't really reach for any scratch paper, so I actually used like the back of this, the stamp because it's just cardstock. It's like the backing of the stamp, I guess the cardstock that came with it. And so I just stamped right on that and I'm going to use my punch to, sorry you couldn't see that, but I'm going to use my punch to punch it out. And it was near perfect as far as like the size and the amount of white that was left around the border. And so I added that right on top of the photo of my daughter twirling in her dress, which she loves to do. And I added a tag with that. Um, circle right on top. And then to the photo of my lights, I went off on a tangent and forgot to talk about that photo. I just um, wrote my journaling about um, the new lighting setup, and then I also added a little circular um, like mint element just to kind of add a pop of color there. I do want to mention I have the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter, and I love it. My only downfall with it is, or my only, I guess, the only flaw that it has um, so far that I've found is that it's really hard to put uh, Ali Edwards and Studio Calico cards through it. 
and um, like little embellishments that are like cardstock, and um, there it's really difficult to get those through because of the thickness of the paper. And so I ended up just like saying screw it, and I wrote with my handwriting, but I ended up liking that. Um, so some layouts I'll have some journaling, and I may just have to like type on printer paper or on like lighter weight cardstock and cut it up. Um, and some cards are able to fit, but I really have to like yanked it through and that's probably not the best thing to do but so that's my only problem with it so far it's not a huge problem because I can still use it for a lot of things and I still love the look of it so okay so all I did was just add a sticker there, there to that middle card or that middle photo of my planner and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this process video let me know your thoughts down below and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon bye